Hi everyone, my name's Sally and welcome to my koala feed tree project. Today I'm going to be moving some of these terrata corners into some compostable cups to allow some of the others to grow a little bit easier. If you have a close-up of the tray, you'll notice that I've planted quite a lot of seeds and they are quite close together. So what I'm going to do is bring some of those out to give the others a chance to grow. Now the Territa cornus, which is also known as the forest red gum, is quite popular with the koala. Now it's found all the way down the coast of Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria. Now it's a tree that can grow up to 50 metres tall. It has a white and grey blotchy trunk. It has leaves that are about 20 centimetres long. It has flowers that are white and pretty much you'll see those flowers all year round. And it does shed its bark like other eucalyptus trees. Now on this side you can see I've transplanted already some of the uh, micro corres that I've got. I did this about two weeks ago. Good thing they're still alive. Uh, if you have a look at the other seedling tray that I've removed all the plants, you'll see that there's only a single plant left in each one and that will give it a chance to grow nice and strong. And I'll be able to take those straight out of those seedling trays and put it into its uh, new planter bag. And then from that planter bag, I'll be able to plant it straight into the ground. Now come in for a close up and I'll show you how I'm gonna do this today. In this bucket, I've got a, a soil and cutting mix. I don't have anything mixed in with it. The last time I did the transplants, I did um, one part propagation sand and three parts the cutting mix and with a bit of vermiculite on the top. But this time I'm just gonna go for a straight um, soil and cutting mix, see if that makes any difference. Now what I'm going to do is it's a little bit dry, so I'm just going to grab the water can and I'm just going to put a little bit of water in there. Like that. I'm just going to mix it, mix it in a little bit just to give it a little bit more moisture before I start putting it into the cup. There we go, that's looking much better. Nice consistency, it's not too, too wet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these cups. Now I just got these from my local coffee shop. Luckily um, they are biodegradable, so that's good for the planet. Now also you'll notice that I've cut slits in the sides and I've got holes in the bottom that simulate the, the seedling trays that I've got. Now to stop the dirt from falling through, I've just put a little bit of paper towel um, in the bottom. So that just stops it from, from dropping through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the soil in. Try not to make it too compact. Just want to make sure the, the root system can grow through that. Okay. So there we go. So we've just, I've just leveled it right to the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a, a little bit of a hole in the middle because the roots for these trees are going to be quite deep. Okay, so I'm just going to, just going to leave that there. On the ground. Now, I'm going to take the seedling tray and I'm going to choose one of these pods that I'm going to pop out. Let's see, let's pop this one out. Hopefully I can get my finger in there. Actually, I'm just going to put the pen in there. Get that out. So you can see already that the root systems are growing quite deep down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently just push the soil apart if I can and just try and loosen up. I'll just look for one of the stronger ones in here. So you can see how quite long the roots are going to be. Okay, so I might just try and grab this one over here if I can. Now eucalypts don't like to be um, transplanted too many times um, so it's good to you know if you don't have to do this too many times that's good Actually, I'm just going to use this one I'll just put the, that one there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rest those ones back in there a minute now, now you can after they've got multiple leaves on their stems you can push the dirt all the way up to the bottom set of leaves. Okay, so you don't have to leave it sticking out too much. All right, so I'm putting it down, trying to put it in the middle. Again, the vermiculite just helps to hold the moisture for the little tree. And 
we'll just sprinkle that around there. Good. And I'll just give it a little bit of a spray. And there you have it. So you've seen me do the first one. So what I'm going to do is exactly the same for the rest of them until there is only one seedling in each pod. That'll allow them to grow nice and strong and I'll have a whole heap of um, little plants in their individual um, containers. And don't forget, make sure you label it. Label it with the name of the tree and of course the date that you transplanted it, just to keep an eye on how they're going. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you in the next one.